Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Love Love Tuts, and today I'm going to show you how to install an extension with Magento Connect. And this will open up your world a little bit with Magento because not only uh, does Magento have the great functionality that it has out of the box, it also has the ability to install all these community made extensions for either free or for um, you know some sort of expense but uh, you know some range to be very expensive and some are very cheap it, uh, it all depends on which extension you're looking for but if you go to magentocommerce.com slash magento hyphen connect you'll get to the magento connect uh, extension marketplace and I'm gonna say you're gonna want to go ahead and make an account because you can't get uh, anything installed without an account. So go ahead and make an account, take your time, come back, and we'll pick up after you have an account already made. This is the Magento Connect. If you come here and you look for maybe utilities, and uh, you can then sort, you can say, I want the most popular ones that are using Magento Community. And since we're in version 1.7, you're going to want to make sure that you find an extension that's compatible with 1.7. So you can see all these extensions, there's tons and tons and tons of stuff. And you might be thinking, you know, you could get lost looking for all these extensions. Extensions. So look through all of them and see what you can find and by all means, you know, go crazy because, uh, you know, the extensions can do a lot of cool things. Uh, one extension that I found here is Easy Template Path Hints. You could find it under Utilities, Developer Tools, and it's called Easy Template Path Hints. I sort of picked this one just because I like the way uh, it looked. It maybe it has some nice functionality, but coincidentally, I have not actually used this before. Um, so I am going to install this. In fact, if we come here and we're logged in already, we're gonna make sure our platform selected to be community. We we'll click install now. And we're using Magento Connect 2.0 with version Magento 1.7. So make sure you click this and select two and agree to the, uh, the licensing. And you notice it gives you this URL. Don't go to this URL because it's not gonna take you anywhere. Just copy this and we're gonna save this for a little bit. So let's come back to our Magento site here. And under our admin, if we come down to Magento Connect, and let's go to Connect Manager. Here, it's gonna ask you to, well, it usually asks you to enter your username and password for your admin again. Uh, since I've been here recently uh, within this session, it's not asking me, but it's gonna probably ask you. And one thing you might want to make sure of is sometimes up top here, it can give you a warning saying your permissions are not set correctly. And uh, I would go ahead and Google that error and try the things that people are suggesting. Um, when I had that error here locally, it was editing something in, um, I'm using MAMP currently, even though we started off the series with ZAMP, uh, is editing something in my, um, httpd.conf file and it was just making sure that you know the right group and user was uh, owning the folder that I was editing so if you're getting this error by all means google it and, and attempt to problem solve there's a lot of different uh, permissions things that can go wrong so unfortunately I can't make a video troubleshooting those however uh, I would say there is lots of help if you're getting those errors so here we are, and what's cool is that you have access to check for updates and stuff like that, but here we're just really going to install this extension. So uh, it says to look for the uh, modules in Magento Connect and paste the extension key here. This is what we copied a moment ago. And I'm gonna go ahead and click this magic install button. You see, please wait, and it finds a stable version. It says it's ready to install. Click proceed, and you'll get this terminal says it's installed and it's clearing my cache, clash, cache cleared successfully, and that's it. As long as your permissions are set correctly, this is as easy as installing an extension for Magento Community Gets. So let's come back to our admin, and it's gonna make me log in again because it cl uh, cleared the cache on the site, I think, or it's not. So uh, let's check this out. Let's go to system configuration and let's see if these new tools are here anywhere. I'm actually gonna check this extension just to see, okay, so system configuration. 
Mage Psycho extensions. So let's just scroll down and you'll see Mage Psycho extensions. And we have this easy template path in and we have info. If I click info, it's going to show me a little bit of info about this, who the contact are, you know, maybe some help stuff. So each one of these extensions is probably going to be a little bit different. You can see I've already installed this catalog uh, extensions right here. So this one already showed up in a different spot. But easy template path hints shows up right here and it looks like it's set to yes. And this gives you an access code of Magento. So all you have to do is enter this query string right here at the end of your URL and where code is equal to the code that's here. So our code is Magento. Let's come to a page. I'm gonna paste this in here and maybe slash add Magento. Cool, so it looks like we didn't have to go into the admin and turn on anything. Uh, all we did was add this query string to the end of our URL and we have these template path heads. And what's great about this is we don't have to come into configuration settings, developer, turn on path heads, and you know, have that go live to everybody on the site. Um, even though you could block, you could you know, filter that with IP or whatever, uh, there's settings to do that. However, this is just nice, it's really quick. All you have to add is this a little bit of code here, and sure enough, we have our template uh, template hints on. We go to any page, and it's gone. We want it back. Just paste this right at the end here again. And you could just have this. Um, I use an application called Clip Menu that stores the last like 20 different things I copied and pasted. So you can come in here if you had something like this. You could just copy it, leave it in your, you know, your history of your clipboard and then paste it whenever you wanted. So that's really awesome. This is how we installed an extension. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to install an extension using uh, .mage, which is the utility that we went over before in command line. So as always, this is Scott with Level Up Tuts. If you have any questions, please leave a comment on the video. If you're having problems with permissions, please, you know, Google around for it. There's tons and tons of help out there. Uh, you know, I know lots of people are have had issues because the permissions in Magento can sometimes be a little finicky. So check it out. Let me know what you think. Uh, you know, Twitter, Facebook, anything. This is Scott with Love Lip Tuts, and thanks for watching. Bye.